Yeah, so basically uh, a number of students um, have been switching out, but we've basically been staying in the fifth floor of Merak where Katehi's office is for the last three days. Um, we haven't seen Katehi once. <laughs> We're still waiting for her to show up um, to work. And uh, we want her to resign. What like inspired the protest originally, or like this specific protest, are the involvement with like Wilson and Sons and DeVry University and the other moonlighting jobs that Katehi has had that we consider to be unethical. But for me personally, this is my fifth year here. There's a long history of Katehi behaving in a way that I think fails the students. Yeah, so basically the entire time, um, all of this came out of just general student interest. I mean, there was someone who originally made a Facebook event uh, for Fire Katehi, and I think from there it really just, um, like, had a life of its own because students want her gone, so it really hasn't been, there hasn't been any sort of, like, hierarchical structure, there's no particular person in charge, there's not a group of people in charge. It's honestly just a bunch of students collectively who are trying to study for finals while at the same time uh, push for their really corrupt chancellor to um, get fired. Well, I think we're trying to make a point that uh, as students we have power and that our chancellor should be here for us, that we have been very respectful, we've been here all weekend, we have been studying mostly, and we're just waiting for our chancellor to show up and do her job and speak with us as students and on equal footing. We want change and like we have every right to be here, but it's about the fact that like we aren't doing anything wrong and the chancellor should be meeting us and they shouldn't be threatening us to try and force us out of this space when like this is our campus we should have every right to be here. That we're not going to let corruption slip by. Um, an apology isn't enough and we want our school to be free of corruption and Katehi is the most pertinent symbol of that corruption right now so by taking up this space we're making it clear that we don't tolerate um, we don't tolerate corruption and we don't tolerate Katehi's actions.